what up guys this is LL and today we're gonna be talking about security because in the last weeks and months there has been a lot of rug pulls scams wallet insecurities and all types of other fiascos and the thing is there are a lot of ways in the crypto space to basically operate in a more secure way and avoid yourself from getting scammed obviously there's common sense which you can use and sometimes there's new people in the space and they don't exactly understand that always but there are other ways on a technical level to basically prevent yourself getting scammed and that's what we're going to be doing here today so let's go through these top five applications that i have picked out starting out with go plus labs and this is basically a smart contract you know scanner so basically you can choose an EVM chain which they are supporting and you can paste the token contract address and this will basically check out the contract and tell you is there certain types of issues in the contract so is the source contract verified is there a proxy minting functions are usually very problematic in case the <laughs> owners can just like increase the supply by about 1 billion and then dump it on the market um, can the owners change the balance hidden owners those are different things honey pots which have become more um, well especially in Binance Smart Chain you're going to be seeing a lot of those with like .com you know named tokens or some type of domain name because that's what they usually try to do to do go into a certain website to trade there but what it actually is doing is actually draining your address so um, and then there's like blacklist function or whitelist functions those are very important in case like somebody can blacklist you from trading or somebody can whitelist you um, not paying like the tax fees on trades or dumping so those are like something that can happen so these are different things you actually want to look into and this is a very good tool it works on different chains and once again gives you also the upholder data which is not always like very good to always look at like there's situations where the mint is first you know created on a one uh, wallet and then it's distributed from there so you might have a bit more like a team people having a lot of funds but that's like a one example so this is a very useful tool so i really recommend it uh, every time you're going to be aping into a new coin or whatever always scan it because it's only two seconds uh, another dab that i really recommend is revoke cash and this is basically um, allowing you to remove access to your allowances so when you are trading in Uniswap for example you are allowing certain amount of tokens in your wallet to basically be traded so and these are different types of allowances this is lending allowances on Aave and different things oh my god this is fucking dumb um, so so for example here we have like allowances on an NFT and tokens and all types of different contracts and sometimes you don't know what these are so what you can do is you can actually like prompt in a revoke and what will happen is you will basically get a con you know pop up which will basically revoke all the access that the smart contract has to that asset so this is nfts tokens basically and this will have gas fee this is less prom problematic outside of ethereum of course so just something to be uh you know understood and you can use this dap with metamask and i believe wallet connect and some others but this is very um important and unlimited is not always something you want to give sometimes given exact numbers also is okay but fundamentally um, very useful to once again because sometimes we already interact with a malicious contract so you want to revoke the access to it in case it has a rug pull or something comes out and and some people even do this after like trading the token out they just like revoke the access after but obviously like when the gas fees are high it's going to be costing a lot but let's move on then we have a pretty interesting one called harpy and this basically is kind of similar to one that we just looked into but this gives us um, a bit of a more like a look into like the risks so this gives us a bit of like an idea like what is going on you know, like can run your wallet address and it will give you scan scans and you have no interacted with crypto criminals that's a very important one which which is something you want to look into because you can actually like get banned in certain countries for that you can get blacklisted and then you can actually look like is there a risk somewhere i've like unvalidated the spender so i can revoke from here as well you have to connect your wallet the other um you know security that comes along with this is that you have ability to 
connect your wallet into an email address so every time you're interacting with a bad address it will send you an email so it will tell you what will be going down also it has its own RPC address which is basically just an Ethereum but it's going through this sort of a security window it's just using its own URL it's like a, like a own node of sorts but it's mostly secure way to do it and you don't have to do that you, you don't need to do that but you can uh, opt optionally use this uh, with Harpy but this is another like a very very um, good tool to get like a lot of this information here for free so this is, doesn't cost anything for you moving on um, next up we have solid check this is another option so this is maybe for a bit more for developers because if you're developing a smart contract or you are hiring somebody to build a smart contract what this basically allows you is that you can provide a github urls and sol files which are basically sol files are ones like what where the contracts are basically this the, this the format so i can upload different zip files and etherscan urls let's try the url here that um we we just used okay we're not going to be doing the email but this is another one um that you can basically use to look into these securities and in case it's not already deployed somewhere this is an ability to basically look at the github contract and look it on here on the site before it's being deployed to check it out that it's checks out all clear so this is really good for developers for example then we have another um solid smart contract checker this one gives you it's always good to have like a bit of a differing opinions from different things so we're going to be doing here is going to be choosing ethereum and ethereum mainnet this one has a bit more different chains available which is another like uh good option to have so we're going to be doing this scan sometimes this website will not load so sometimes there's a bit of a like um well um Okay, so this is all these scores. So here we have like the same contract, and here we were able to find like a lot more problems. The higher the threat score, the the worse. And this gives us like some different information that the other one doesn't. So like the so the program version that is like the earlier versions, where this, that's the compiler which compiles a smart contract in a certain version. And there's like um, other functionalities, and you know it's like you want to run, you know smart contract on all, on all the possible sites there are a couple of others which i didn't want to um, include on this specific video but that is basically the top five services that we have followed you know feature here and lastly i do want to put out a bit of a shill here because well this is not being paid or anything but i'm getting an affiliate link bonus for this but um you should always use vpn because that's how you don't get tracked when you do transactions so even when you are using infura and metamask in general there are like ways that you can get still tracked i'm not really going into the intricacies of like how that exactly happens but when you are sending money from any address any wallet that you have you should always pretty much like use a vpn on while you do it and there are a lot of like very cheap ones especially lsvpn and that some others as well i'm going to leave a couple of options there below which can increase your security on these types of matters so vpns are also another part of about your anonymity and interacting more securely uh, in crypto when you're interacting especially with wallets they don't prevent you from getting hacked obviously but you know if you want to keep your identity clean you should always use a vpn when you're transacting any with any of your wallets but thanks for watching guys that is pretty much what i have to say for today as always subscribe and like the video and obviously join the liger pack in case you have some money to throw in and i will be seeing you very soon in the next video cheers